on an island that doesn't have cars and is currently filled with thousands of summertime visitors, the 31-foot emergency rescue ship has been a blessing. Before, when we had a water rescue, a boater in distress, we had nothing we can do but keep an eye on it from shore and wait for other resources, the Coast Guard or the Sheriff's Department to come assist them. So we were really stranded on land waiting. Now we have that capabilities to launch immediately and go help anybody in the area. The $497,000 ship was acquired with a FEMA port security grant and it didn't take long before the ship was put to the test. Since its arrival to the island in May, the rescue vessel has already carried out seven medical evacuations. It's also helped local authorities in two search and rescue operations and assisted with restoring power to the island after a recent outage. The ship has a top speed of 41 knots. It features a heated cabin, a 500 gallon a minute fire pump, an infrared camera and radar. The bow can also be dropped for beach landings. Crew member and city councilman Dominic Redman says that island residents have also taken notice of the ship. It definitely makes them feel a lot safer because they now know that they have another option to get off the island in the times that when the ferry boats are running or they can't fly and we're able to run. I mean, I would say that, yeah, that they've, they've even said to us that they're excited about it. Despite the ship's early successes, its crew yeah, continue to train, cool. plan, and prepare for any emergency. In Mackinac County, Michael Gordon, 7 and 4 News.